Tony, Luigi sent me. I come to collect your weekly premium. You get nothing, fuck you. Don't tell me that, friend. Tell Luigi. I'm just his agent, but he wants his dough. He said that your account is due today and that you're supposed to pay it. I've had it, you hear? Now fuck out of here. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, then, where was I? Sorry I can't give you any more of my time, but I got other calls to make. Besides which, I gotta get back to my office. <laughs> It's still three bills, you know, huh? <laughs> 
I told you, I gotta go. You might be Marquita Sar, though I don't swing like that. Old Man River, huh? Hey, hey, I haven't had this much fun since I was a kid. Oh, now knock it off, huh? You're beginning to tire me. If I have to fight you like this every week for what you pay our friend, what do you do if you owe more? One of us might get hurt. Now, where do you keep the scratch? Here it is. 10, 20, 30. Here, you can get change. It's awful cheap for protection service. See ya. Couldn't you give me a... Hey, wait your turn. I was first, you're after me. Don't worry, Tony. I'll tell you where you can move up to the big stuff. I'm ready now. Just give me a chance. I always bring in my share on time. All right. Listen, Tony. My wife loaned some money to our house porter. If you can collect, I'll give you 10%. It shouldn't be too hard. The old guy's paralyzed. <laughs> Luigi sent me for your weekly payment. Your weekly payment, don't you have it? Well, the best I can do is come back this afternoon. <clears throat> so, this afternoon's no good either, huh? I'd hate to have to mess up that nice hair of yours. Hey, what's the matter? Can't you talk? Me, I talk. Then are you deaf? No, I hear you, boy. Yeah? Then you heard what I said. I'll be back this afternoon. But I... <clears throat> Look, Valentino, if you don't pay up, Luigi will take it out on me. Try around six. Somebody's bringing cigarettes then. And you'll get the money. Who are you? I said his hair. Are you kidding? But, uh, she... Uh, you... Mm. I'll see you later. We'll be waiting for you. I'll be right back. Wait here. Boys, boys. Hey, the bag man's here collecting money. <laughs> we can knock him off easy. Okay, you that. Got a red dune bug here across the lot. <laughs> Slow down or you'll burn out the engine. What do you think you are, Monza? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nicky Lauda, you got a license to drive? No, but I know how. What? <laughs> Well, you better quit now. The whole Ferrari team's coming. Run along, Tom. Ciao! Yes! Oh! Huh? Oh! Yeah! Yeah!
Where's Mr. Brill Cream? Well. Uh, shall we, uh. No, not today. Some other time, okay? I might do that. You know the way. You pay now. Listen, buddy, don't pull that around here. I run a straight game. And if you don't like it, get your ass out of here. I work for Manzari. Who's Manzari? Scarface. And I work for Lucky Luciano. Come on! Hey, what happened? What do you mean? What happened to the dough? What dough? The dough I had there, my bet. I won it. I didn't see a damn thing. Oh, you lost anyway. Man, what a screw. Hey, Napoli, you got any ideas? Ideas? Any ideas on how to get some dough? Hmm. If I did, would I be fool enough to waste my money in this joint? Hmm. He's speaking that's about finish me. Uh, look at the luck that guy's had tonight. Uh, uh, what I can't figure out is why you want to be in this. Uh, you kids are always in a hurry, always want to be first. Uh, the first to make money. First to rob, and uh, first to die. You want something to eat? Yeah. Hey, Milo. <laughs> oh! 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 It's a scarf face. It's bad news, I can tell you. Just looking at him and my asshole twitches. Is this table working? Sure is. Al, give him a new deck. Place your bets, Bonko. Nine. The bank wins. cash you got available? About three million. I seem to be a little short of change. I need some money for tonight. Do you mind if I give you a check? Uh, fine. Who shall I make this out to? Who runs this urinal? Luigi. Luigi who? Luigi Cerchio. Luigi Cerchio. You can cash that check any time from tomorrow morning. Come over when you feel inclined. Tell Luigi. Luigi Cerchio. Smiley. Looks pissed off. <coughs> if 
you don't know which table to sit at, don't go gambling, you know what I mean? I stepped in because my men don't get taken. But if a man gets taken for a sucker, he can't be one of mine. <coughs> you over, huh? You'd better get out of here. You don't want them to come back and do it again, do you? Hey, don't go to sleep on me, huh? I'll take you on my pad. Okay. Come on, try to walk. Breathe in, you'll feel better. Hey, hey. Yeah. You need a steak. What are you gonna do now? Go to sleep. I mean, now that Scarface has kicked you out. Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> You'd better. I gotta go out. You can sleep here as long as you want. I'm gonna be gone for a few hours. Thanks. Take it easy. I swear to you, even if it takes a hundred years, Luigi's gonna have his money as soon as I'm able to pay it back. I'm sure you will, but Luigi can't wait that long. I'll return at three. <sighs> Ciao, it's new. Mm. There's nobody in the pool hall. It's looking for Luigi. Is he in there? Yeah, but he's in a bad mood today. They all are. Uh, so what? Take my advice and keep out of it. He's a pissed off, I tell you. Uh, I guess I might as well see what's going on, too. San Antonio. You see what that dummy done? Gave out good cash for a check. Give me the check, boss. I'll get the money back for you. No. Hi, fellas. Ah, the boy wonder. Listen, you turd, you were there. Why didn't you stop Franco cashing that check? Maybe because I don't want holes in my head like you got, you shit. See, boss, what kind of pricks we got? Boss, let me get rid of this bastard once and for all. <laughs> if you had been there, you would have thrown out Scarface? Brag Why, it up, you, you too. <laughs> Ah, they're gonna fight. Hey, I'll die. Come on, yeah. you know, is that oh, your best punch? Huh? All right. Use your right, Pepe, and bust him in the face. Hey, what you doing, a striptease? Hey, 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 Bastard. I bet 50,000 on Bepi. Yeah, you lose it because Tony is smarter. And make it to 10 because I don't need any more. <laughs> Fight him. Come on. Hit him with a board, Bepi. <laughs> 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 
Take it easy. What's the matter? You afraid to throw a punch? <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> That's it, you're right. You for Tony now? Bye, Pepe. <laughs> Fight him! Fight him! Yeah. Here we go. That's enough for him. I'm tired of this. Well, wait. You won. I won't forget this, you bastard. I'll send you to the cemetery. When I go there, I'll be putting flowers in your grave. <laughs> Fun culo. Luigi, do you want me to collect the money on Scarface's check? Hmm? Go ahead, boss. Let him put his money where his mouth is. I'll go to hell up both of you. Wait. Let me try. Spit all over you. You won't even get in the door. Hey, you know what, chap? Again. That dumb kid's crazier than I thought. And let me. How could I have been so dumb? What made me say it? Jesus Christ! Three million from Scarface. Well, why bother to go then? I can't welch now. It's a question of my pride. I gotta find a way out. And fast. Luigi's gang of Scarfaces will knock me out. I only wish I knew what the hell to do with this. Use your head. Ah, you're right. If I'd have used my head, I'd have blown this town by now. <laughs> Gone down there. Join my cousin, Brazil. He's always writing me, saying to go and join him. Lucky guy. He's made a fortune. He's worth millions. But I can't go there empty-handed. Hey, what are you thinking about? Got an idea. An idea to get enough to pay our fare to Rio? No. How to cash this check? Well, I'm glad to know I'm not the only stupid one in Rome. Because if you plan to bleed Scarface, that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm serious. Yeah, so am I, buddy. You want to hear my idea or not? Yeah, sure. You know Scarface, or don't you? You once worked with him. And his boys beat you up, too. But, Rick, I've only seen him once, and that's enough. I'd bust my ass and get killed besides. No, you won't have to bust your ass. You won't even have to see him. All you got to do is trick him, goose him, just a little. Rick, you want a sauce that gave you a bad trip, maybe? We have to find an actor with a strong face, with authority, distinguished, about 50. Where's Gil Mantari's office, please? It's on the second floor, Captain. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I'm Captain Verde of the Finance Ministry. We've come to inspect your files. Where's Signor Manzari? Uh, Signor Manzari's not here. Where's your accounting office? Uh, we don't have one. Where's your Manzari's office? Uh, his office is that one there. But it's locked when he's not here. He has the key. Sergeant, open the door and prepare the seal for me. Uh, just a moment, Captain. Uh, may I phone Signor Manzari? Because before 11, he doesn't come to the office. Yes, of course you can phone. And you can say, I advise him to bring his lawyer. Sergeant, proceed. The revenue ain't been near me in uh, five years now. You know what I mean? God knows what might have happened. I... Hey, do you think you could uh, 
Make that green file disappear. The one on the left of my desk. It's important. Try it, huh? Okay, boss. Take one? We can try. But how do I do it? He's going to go through the files, and if he finds a little cash, well... Yeah, but how much? How should I know? That's for you to decide. You know what the fine is for falsifying account books. And that's if they're only falsified. Hmm? If he finds worse than that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, try a, try ten million, huh? Yeah. Oh, make sure it's all in cash. Ten million be all right? Maybe yes, and maybe not. Listen, if the captain should take the money this morning, it means this afternoon he'll be back again. That should give you the chance to do what you want with them. I understand. Don't try giving it to me. Put it in a file folder and bring it in to the captain. Then you say you forgot to bring it in before. That way you're clean. With him, can't be too careful. You're right. Then I uh, forgot to bring this. Put it down there. Huh. No, 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 no. Don't, don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll get rid of them all today. So if he comes back, you know what I mean. Hold on a minute. At what time do you open in the afternoon? At four. All right, at precisely four o'clock, you can expect me. It's okay, took the money. Fine, I'm on my way. Good day, sir. Would you mind giving this to Senor Manzari when you see him? There's a check in there for him. Yes, sir. I'll be glad to. Boss, there's your three million. What do you expect us to do? <sighs> Clap our hands? No, just give me my commission. I gotta pay the Joe actor Clark. I got. Scarface isn't gonna take this laying down, you understand? You just cashed a check of his. You were doing him a favor. You just got your money back. No, Christ. Before you went there, you might at least told us. Oh, since when did you ever ask me? And only yesterday, you were the one that said I was good for nothing. But I noticed you didn't offer to collect. He had the chance to open his mouth first, and he didn't. Now he saw because I made the collection for you. And when I come back here with your dough, you act like I've gone bananas. Instead of being glad you got it, you just sit there, scared shitless. You can give him my share. I don't want anything. Oh, I'm taking off from work. Hmm? See you in a couple of days. Come here. Right away. Hmm. Ah. Tony tell you what he did to Scarface? 
thing going to take this laying down, is he? Uh, I don't think so. What'll I do? He could give back the door, huh, Napoli? Uh, in the my time when a uh, fellow was uh, for two to he, uh, he'd uh, wait a bit and then uh, hit back when the one who screwed him didn't expect it. Ah, uh, in your time. And what happened, you old fart? Ah, uh, in my time I must admit that uh, we didn't have a scafe in Napoli. And uh, anyone like you either, Kabish. Hey, Napoli, don't break my balls. Luigi, what do you want to listen to him for? What'll I do, Natalie? Uh, how will you? I'd leave town for a while. Till Scarface cools down. And if he doesn't cool down? Uh, he's bound to cool down some. It's a one thing to react uh, when you still feel the freaking you've had, and another after a little time, hmm? And give this back? Only if he comes here for it. Listen, I'm getting out of town for a few days. I'll take care of the place and make the collections. Thanks. I'll be in touch with you for any news. Don't worry. Thanks, Napoli. Boss, I got an idea. Can't we just tell Scarface it was Tony's idea and you know nothing about it? Listen, I may be in the shit myself, but it's not up to here. Hey, you. A two and two is how much? Why, it's four. Ah, you're intelligent. Hmm. <laughs> one a day and work for ourselves. Well, I'll bet there's hundreds of offices willing to pay. That dancer there is from Brazil. She's fresh from Rio. Why don't you try your luck? Tony! Clara, baby. Being a good boy? <laughs> well, enjoy yourself. Find your boss, Luigi. Well, he might, uh, he might, uh, he might be at the pool hall. Hey!
Are you Luigi Cerchio? No. Oh, well, where the hell is he? He's blown town. Fork over the dough. Come on. <coughs> There's only three million here. Come on. Let's have the rest. Rest? There was ten million, you bum. What do you mean? It was three. Your guys took ten. Well, I'll be a son of a... Come on. Give it here. Okay. You'll get your money. Could you recognize him? Yeah, you're damn right I would. You understand finally how Tony managed to screw you? He built Scarface out of 10 million and pays you three. And the gambling's finished. Well, the joint's empty since that raid. The players ain't crazy. <clears throat> and the collections? <sighs> they know you're out of town. They say they'll pay when they see you. Years of work, blown sky high. I'm flat busted. Thank you. 
say, can't even keep an appointment on time. Uh, probably dipping their wikis. Ah, here they are. Hey, what come on. Happened? What's up? Don't stop at your place. You gotta hide out. Hey, wait a minute. Can't you see I'm getting in? Oh. Hey, 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 let me get my cool English contraption. Slow down. I'll put you in the gambling den for, uh... 25%? Thanks, Senor Manzari. How much does this uh, insurance operation amount to, huh? Hmm. I don't know. We always figured Ouija took in around five million a month. But uh, this collaboration depends on you finding me this stone here. Huh? Or uh, finding out where he is for me. You can use my men. Just ask Luca, huh? Because in my opinion, we got to take our work as serious as any other work. Yes, yeah, serious. But uh, to do that, you're going to want to learn. A lot of these punks today ain't been past the third grade. What the hell do they know? Well, they call themselves a bank robber. The boys, to pull a bank and chopper today, the very minimum any bum should know is how to handle a thermal lance, or at least an arc welder. And if there's somebody who don't know how to handle the damn thing, he picks it up, ah, it dies a shock. Ah, and all the wet behind the ears, ignorant amateurs who try a snatcher job, a pigs with wings they are. What happens if they do pull it off? I managed to phone the guy's family, saying, pay us half a billion if you want them back alive. You may pay to your lawyer. Well, I'll be a horse's ass if it takes brains for that. <clears throat> and even the jerks are lucky to get the money. Have they thought of having a base in Switzerland? A bank where they can recycle it? But even you don't know what recycling is. Well, that's what studying is for. Because if you want to work like a professional, guys have got to have a know-how. There's a dollar, a mark, a florin. But the florin for you is small flower. It's because you kids are used to living in the land of the Lira. Which is to say, the merda comes up to here. And you want to know why? Because with Lira, you can't buy shit. Oh, you fix a scarf face, and you found it easy. You know you're not home free yet. You're not finished because he hasn't seen your face. Well, it's a hundred to one he knows you did it, Tony. And it's only a question of time before he catches up with you. He already found the actor you saw the papers. The poor guy, when I read how he was killed, uh, he got a new hole right in the middle of his head. Here. Jeez. And who made the tip off? Luigi? Nah, it couldn't have been Luigi. He wouldn't go near Scarface. I bet it was Beppy. He ate Tony's guts. Now, what the hell got into you? You must be nuts. After doing what you did, you tell everyone in Luigi's office, you might as well yell at uh, uh, Piazza Novonda. No, only Luigi and Beppe were there when I was in the office that day. Well, I guess that you're right. Sure he's right. We gotta be careful and get ourselves ready before Scarface moves. I know the guy. Napoli, you got any guns here? Uh, I got them. But I don't like to use them. Rick, you think we should return the money? He don't care about the door anymore. He wants revenge. Chichari, what are you doing there? Now, get down. How many times do I have to tell you not to go up in there? That's not your place. It's for first aid. Ah, damn it, Rick. Why didn't you tell me the shitty deal I was falling into? Don't blame me, because if you didn't have to be the big show-off and give the porter his check, and Luigi three million, and hold a press conference afterwards, everything would have been okay now. Nobody would have known. Eh, yeah, all right. Hey, come over here and stop belly aching. What's done is done. Now, you take those guns and leave Rome. Go on. There's Brazil. How about it? I said I have this rich cousin there, and we've got the dough for the trip now, so what's stopping us? Yeah, I'll beat the pool hall. If I find out anything, I'll phone you. Well, 
You guys, I would guess, will wind up uh, with a fortune or a marvelous pain in your asses. Uh, It's me, Napoli. Listen, they say Luigi skipped the country, but I'm sure he's been killed. Yeah, well, Beppi's now running the whole show. Yeah. And he's out to get you, all right. He's made a deal with Scott Faze, and he's offering everyone a big dog to tell him where you're hiding. Well, stick around the pool hall and see if you can find out any more. Uh, but I can't go in there no more, because he threw me out. Want us to meet you? No, no, don't leave the house. I tell you they're after you. I'll be right over. Yeah, well, uh, besides, uh, it'd be good if we could talk and uh, figure a way out. Yeah, don't move. Goodbye. Oh. Yeah, right. Thanks. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Uh, Beppy says, try this address. It could be. Tony's holding up there. Do you want me to go? No, 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 no. Send one of them. You know, Beppy says he's not certain, but, uh... Uh, we don't want to pass up on any chance, you know what I mean? Hey! Whoever's in that house... Make sure that they never leave it, huh? You, and you, and you. Go to this address and look for Tony. And even if he ain't there, you mow down everyone in that house. Now get going. Here, shall we go in? You smoke? Uh, I don't smoke. Somebody was here. Now tell us. Come on, was it one or two guys? I don't know. I don't know. No. Uh, ah, ah. Uh. Man, oh man, that was close. He almost got hung, and you. I didn't know when you were going to shoot. We'll take these three and put them in a car. Napoli, of course, Scarface. Hey, man. Just let me get back my breath. Besides, I gotta change my pants. Gee, Rick, you are something. You really know how to handle a gun. But why does Napoli have to call? Because Scarface don't know yet that Rick is with us. Eh? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. You're really expert with that, huh? 
You got a good aim at quick reflexes. I'm gonna put you at the Lake Olympics. <laughs> I just helped out Tony. Well, I gotta thank the Madonna also. Eh, grazie Maria Regina Santa. And also thank you, San Gennaro. Shh, tch, tch, sa, sh It's for you. Hello, Mr. Scarface. This might seem like a strange phone call, but first let me introduce myself to you. Vincenzo Napoli. Don Vincenzo to you. What do you want? Nothing, nothing. But say, were well, those are your guys who I had a visitor from this morning? Yeah, they were my men. Ah, because you know, they're kind of a bother. I had to haul all three of them back here, and that's not in my line of work. You might want to advise the families, I don't know. What did you say? They're stiff, dead, croaked. And I figured you want them. Or at least the car, they're in it. It's under your window. Uh, sorry it's backed badly. You better straighten it out or the cops will haul it away. And it'll cost a lot to get it back. You wouldn't want to get a ticket. They gotta respect the traffic laws, don't we? It's a park right under your office. Uh, what do you want? Oh, nothing, nothing. You maybe do, eh? Ooh, I see you've sent your number one guy out. Uh, he's running like he was uh, crazy. Yeah, here he comes, all right. He's going to open the trunk now. Oh, I guess he's really had the big fright. Man, it seems he's got a rocket up his behind. <laughs> Hey, has he got there yet? <laughs> yeah, he's here. Oh, good, good. Hey, say, Mr. Scarface, you ain't thinking of sending him back again, are you? I'm a calling from a booth across the street. What do you want? I told you, nothing. Just a small piece of information. Who was it? Have you finished off with Luigi or did Beppe? What? Hey, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I say, look, if you're thinking of sending rocket ass down again, I'll put him in the car with those other bums of yours. There's a space, too. I bet they make it go in there, yeah. It's an American car. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful one. Oh, he's right beside me. Ah, uh, good. Uh, I wouldn't want him to get hurt. i uh, take care of him, huh? Yes, I say it's a good idea to have all of those hoods of yours stay inside them, uh, because losing three a day means you'll be alone before long, eh? I say, listen, uh, Scarface, what about our old friend Luigi? I don't know about Luigi. Ah, my, you're a sly one. Uh, you're slick, all right. <laughs> you don't know a thing, eh? And I guess it figures the guy that did it was Pepe. Scarface, whatever else you are, you're a first-class gentleman. Well, I'll hang up now. I'll be seeing you, especially now as I know where to find you, eh? behind all this. I don't think anyone is. But have some help sent down from Milan. He's getting to be a nuisance. You know what I mean? And have Beppe draw up a list of all his friends and what places he's uh, been. And I want a long, complete list, even if we have to turn this city upside down. But uh, I don't think we're going to have to look very far. You know what I mean? What about this guy? Is he rough? Michele, Mario, Giovanni, are dead. They were good boys. Well, from what I've seen and heard, he's gonna have to stay lucky to stay alive. And he's got one thing wrong. He's too cocky for his own good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Last one. Are you pay me or I pay you? Hmm?
point was four. I made six. Want to play another? No, you're too good for me. Hey, you bums over there. I got a 10 spot here. Who wants to play? for Luigi. Slug into that lousy turd Beppe. He was drawing up a list of everyone who might know us. I think it was an idea of Scarface. I think he's getting ready to use a lot of men. Well, I don't know anyone ready to hide you guys, huh? What about Clara and those two whores? They'll look after us. We can uh, bang them, too. Ah, you will, huh? And if you can't get it up some night, we'll sell you out, huh? No, I know a safe place. That. Mamma mia, what a perfect spot. Why, nobody could find us here. Hmm. Hey, Rick. This place is pretty funny. Big old slaughterhouse. My uncle used to be a butcher and told me about it. He must have stunk to hell. He sure did. <laughs> This place isn't very clean. Hasn't been used for about 20 years. Once in a while, I've stayed here. Anyhow, I think it's a safe place for us to hide out for a while. Yeah, it's OK. This place seems fine to me. And if anyone comes around, uh, we can see him, huh? During the day, sure. But at night? At night, we'll sleep in three different places. We'll pick them out. Uh, what about this plan of yours? No, I'll explain my plan to you a little later. Right now, I got another idea. Oh. Hiya. Um, you guys come down and have a coffee? I'll buy it. You seem to like playing the fool, huh? It breaks my day. I suppose it's foolish of me to come here alone. In fact, you're right. But I have to give you something. This is from Beppe. He wanted to bring it here to you by himself, but he's dead. See you around. Anyway, you got your list.
go. He's out. Is this all the dough that's left? Yeah, it's five million either. I bought a rifle, a pistol, ammunition, uh, the walkie-talkie. You both spent about a million on your girlfriends, and uh, Rick took the rest to buy the dope. <sighs> What's the news? You got a horse today? Now, read this. I found it in there, written in the 60s. But I don't give a good damn what's happening in the world now, let alone 15 years back. Yeah, that's good stuff. First class. The price is good, huh? I think so. Kilo, you say? One kilo, except this, which is 50 grams. Uh. Well, someone like you just doesn't bump into a, a kilo of pure cocaine on the street, you know what I mean? Ah, I already told you. I didn't just run into it on the street. I did run into two South Americans at the Red Guitar just last night. But I already knew the guys. Well, one of the guys I know has been working in town as a fence. And they're in a hurry to unload the stuff. I guess that's why the price is good. I don't know about snow, so I took a sample and came to you. Did they steal it? I don't know, I guess. And they're leaving town tonight, eh? So they told me. Yeah. Uh, why did you uh, think of me? Because you're the only one I know big enough to handle a deal like this. Hmm. Well, if I do deal, I'll... Uh... Take you back in. Where do you contact these guys? 
They said if you're interested, for you to meet them at Three Sharp at the old slaughterhouse, where the main office used to be. Yeah, I know where it is. Okay, kid, I'll be there this afternoon. Tell them that I'll, uh, I'll be punctual, huh? Napoli. Napoli. Okay, Scarface is on time. Oh, how many guys has he got, do you know? Three cars and he's 12 men. Ah, fuck them all and fuck you too. Hey, Rick, you really put our noses in it this time. Look, guys, you're clued in on everything. I told you you didn't have to go along with me. If you want out, there's still time and no hard feelings, okay? So take off. Yeah, and we're too. Let's wait until the party's over first. Hey, Tony. They're coming in this way now, over and out. Yeah, I just hope it's not over and out for us. It's okay, not a sign of anyone.
no, Dino. I say we gotta take over them whorehouses, too. There'll be more dough coming from them soon. People are afraid of hookers on the street. the South Americans, huh? Where's your money? Right in here. Look. And look, you can see for yourself. Hey, what are you doing? Are we gonna make a deal or ain't we? Now we're gonna settle an old account. ago it was. You remember now? I was standing right where you are when you killed my father that day. You scum. And now you're gonna pay for hey, it. I... Where the hell are you? In a nice, quiet place. Where are you? Be careful. There's a car patrolling. I'm at number three. You be careful. I got San Gennaro on my side. Hey. Ah, 
Now, what kind of lies are you going to make us sell me? I'll get my money back. <laughs> I must be banned. It ain't possible I could miss like that. Ah, wait till I see the guy assault me and... for business again. Mamma mia.
see if this thing works like billiards. That was the last of them. Good shot. <laughs> Stop the war, because we're finished, huh? Hey, those bombs, mortars, all the rest are over with? There's nothing more on your schedule? Good. Well, I got to do something. San Gennaro, grazie, sai. You were just a great. I must have thank you. Oh, you know, because if you hadn't been helping us from up there, we'd have been cooked by now. Cooked? Maybe Napoli's right. Well, where to? What do you mean, where? To Brazil. <laughs> we can finally visit okay, my cousin. Me. But he hasn't got a cent anymore. He went broke? Twice. He even called me the other day from Rio. He tried to put the bite on me. He's flat on his ass, hasn't got a pot to piss in. In fact, he's cleaning the beach at Copacabana. Now that we've got the money, we can go pay a visit to him, huh? Yeah. We'll have a ball. We can even fly first class. Okay. Just call me Jose Carioca. Hey, you with us, Rick? Sure, why not? Copacabana, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> 